As a mature rocker, I wanted to feature more rock music on the channel because it's kind of getting in touch with my former self, with the long hair who used to be uh, all about the Scorpions. But I just love kind of a, it's called symphonic rock today, but it was a softer rock music I was into when I was younger because a lot of people were into ACDC and I was one of these people into the Scorpions and people were who ne never heard of them, don't like them, should be ACDC. You were either a mod, in M-O-D, in, in my youth, or you were, which is kind of madness, that kind of music, or you were a rocker. <sighs> Very simple, isn't it? Not like loads of genres today. But we come to the hives who have never featured but wanted to feature for quite a while. So I brought them forward because we all know they're coming out with the sixth studio album and I thought after six albums isn't it time I brought the hives onto my channel I'll give you all whom they are and what they're about now the hives are a Swedish rock band formed in 93 in Fagester after gaining traction in their home country throughout the 90s they rose to prominence internationally in the early 2000s during the garage rock revival because they're known as garage rock which is a term for them the mainstream success came with the release of the second album Vinnie Vidi Vicious which contained their breakthrough single and signature song hate to say I told you so the band is especially well known for the high energy and, ex and eccentric live shows with music critics have having hailed them as amongst the best live rock bands of the last two decades and they always feature in the top 10 I think they're currently at number eight the Hives have released five studio albums, blah, 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 blah. And, it, and the links are all in the description if you want to go through. But I want to get on to this part because there's oof, so much about them. Style and on-stage performance. All songwriting, except covers of the band's albums, are credited to Randy Fitzsimmons. Hence the title of their new album, which I'll give you in a minute. The band claim Fitzsimmons is an honorary sixth Hive, who along with their music discovered and managed the band. The band has included hidden references to the sixth member of the band, including a hidden sixth pair of legs on the back cover of the... Now Randy Fitzsimmons is a registered pseudonym for Nicholas Amsbist. The Hives have uh, live shows have been highly rated, with Spin Magazine rating them 8th best rock, mm, I knew, uh, in the world. Best rock band. Pelly is known for his colourful idiocy on stage, and when asked about their efforts to connect with the audience, Chris Dangerous replied, there are so many bands out there, they don't say a word to the crowd. I don't get it, and nor do I. I used to do security in concerts up at Slane Castle and it's amazing how many bands go on stage and they don't interact with their fans who've been waiting for hours, waiting, getting checked, walking a long way. This is Slane Castle, I don't know about other venues, and going all the way, all the way over the hills, all the way down through other checks to get to the venue, to stand in front of the stage and basically the band plays their music and walks off and you're just like, what the F. But anyway, the Hives always dress in matching black and white uh, suits because it makes them look like they belong together. Well, they do. And my thumbnail will reflect that as well. I'll make sure. Now, when it comes to the song itself, and there's an exciting bit I don't want you to miss. Uh, for all those people that say, that's not what it's about. Social media didn't say that, the band said it's about this. Because I'm always saying to people on my channel, including the Hives, I give you my interpretation. So listen, Hive fans, the writer of the song Hives, Bruntman, Howlin' Pell, and Vist. And for the second, for the record, he is backed by guitarist Nicholas Arson and Vigilante Kosserum, bassist the Jonan and only and drummer Chris Dangerous, with all of the above being stage rather than legal names. Now the producer of the track with the death of Randy Fitzsimmons at large is Patrick Berger, and the music video was directed by an entirely known entity, sorry, known as Snask, 
which appears to be a production company from Stockholm. So everyone's getting credited here and that's the build up to the single and you won't be disappointed watching. To be perfectly honest, the lyrics of Countdown to Shutdown is very difficult to ascertain what exactly this song is supposed to be about. Are you listening? Before people put comments, some can be quite troll-like saying blah 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 to me. The song is supposed to be about even they don't know. But of course these days post COVID-19, it's safe to presume that when most of us hear a word like shutdown, and especially as presented in this title, we think of businesses that have shut down, society being shut down as a whole. Lyrically, the first half of the course, looking at the lyrics, does sort of have anonymous foreboding and seemingly does the beginning of the second verse. But as the latter half of the chorus again, it's difficult to see what the intended point is about. Besides the vocalist proclaiming that he ain't never going to quit. As far as said folk vocalist Pell's explanation of the track, he alluded it to being sort of a general rock song, everyone. Not just any rock song, but one to be enjoyed by the audience at large, and we certainly will when we watch. Or, as he put it, what the title of Countdown is leading towards is up to is and this is the drum roll for me, to the respective listener's own interpretation. Big smile from me. That's a relief. It could be something as frightening as the financial collapse. Will it be when I interpret, it, the, uh, interpret the lyrics? I don't know. Or an event as enjoyable as a weekend bender you've been waiting for. Or as the frontman comprehensively defined Countdown to Shutdown, it is a versatile banger for all of your summer rock needs. That's fine. So in playing it safe, we will close on the note that this piece is very much open-ended. Thank you, thank you, the highs. As much as different listeners are bound to derive their own meanings from it. That's the end of the drum roll for me because we are going to listen and I certainly will give you my interpretation. Ah, straight after we hear this summer banger. Sorry about the traffic outside. Oof. City centre living. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> uh. Oops.
Shut but, down! Yeah. to tell you I wish that was longer I am the first chance coming to Ireland doing a concert arena RDS I'll be up at the front watching these guys it proves that people in my age group can be as sexy as the young guys they're all sexy guys playing great rock and roll no mistake they kick ass. They've been around for a long, long time. And when you play masterpiece music like that from, and you're already legends in your own right, you just think, what the hell? Two bangers so far. I've only reacted to the first one, Countdown to Shut Down. But I'll give you just a little snippet of information from the hives. It's coming from there. The Death of Randy Fitzsimmons, which we've discussed beforehand. And it's countdown to shut down, and it is track. This is track three. Now, bonus. Where was the other one that they released on this? Aphrodita. Ah, was the first single was track one, which was bogus operandi, which I'm looking forward to reacting to because people said don't miss out. I won't miss out on any of this, on any of this. And remember, this is this song is a versatile banger. For all your summer rock needs, the hives have to be up there, up there in your top three. They have to be approximately 30% seven more effective than the closest competitor and sure to help your Q2, remember that, and Q3 results. I tell you, they certainly are going to be in my top three this year. Absolutely amazing video. I was laughing and if it peeved you off, I'm sorry. I started to get really, really into them. It's like, why haven't I featured them before? Guilt? No. Satisfaction doing it now? Yes. Loved it. Loved it. Let's get into the lyrics now. And we go to the top. And it's going to be everybody's own interpretation. Remember that. Big smile here. The guy, Maslow, he had a ladder that you used to get up there. What's the view like from up there? Well, he can't see the bottom of the stairs so it goes around the world a million boys in love with a dozen girls tighten the screw but not for you till they can't figure out what to do well okay my interpretation is it is this this is in reference to for me my interpretation a boss a boss if you're firm somebody who thinks that they're so far up the ladder the phrase springs to mind and, this, and I'm going to tell you what the phrase is, everyone. I heard a phrase in the bar by a gay guy who said, look at the way he walks, in reference to his boss. He said, he walks like he's got a pole up his arse. He said, I wish he would use it to so get over himself. And I thought, I've got to learn that. And I've used it on a couple of occasions to previous bosses. Hence why I was fired once or twice. And I left my previous job because the bitch I was working for, I hated it at Trinity College, one of the top universities in the world. And I had to work with the biggest bitch of them all. I hated her. And she thought she was up that ladder and she was, bleh. and she was a nobody. And I'd become a somebody. I throw three books, I'm doing the music channel. And she thought I was finished. She'd never give me a reference. You'll never get a job. She colluded with other people to to make sure in Dublin I'd move out of Dublin. And here I am sitting in my own apartment in Dublin for the last 16 years with my partner, loving life. Yeah, those ladders represent that boss. They think they're at the top, 
but the higher they go, it, the, the longer it takes for them to hit rock bottom, no, the quicker. Because don't forget gravity. Once you reach a certain height and you fall, you fall hard. Tighten the screw, but not for you till they can figure out what to do. Yeah, they're always up there figuring out what how they can mess up your life. Mm. Pre-chorus, it goes 4, 3, 2, 1, countdown to shutdown. Woo. Shutdown in my case was a shutdown on a personal level, level, guys. People who follow rock music think we haven't got hearts or brains. You only have to look at what they've achieved in their lives. Fans that go to see rock artists, rock artists themselves, and you know any awards that they get any place that they they become famous in like the what's that place called rock of roll of fame something like that you don't always have to be a member of the a club you can just be like the hives just kick ass write songs that just hit a chord and the chord is four three two one for me was in life look i'm hitting 50. like these guys i've got a lot of energy needed to do something what am i going to do in my life so a 50 wrote my books set up this music channel haven't looked back and it was woo for me guys if you need to do something get out there and do it don't wait for the corporate ladder trying to climb up it it's not worth it as we discussed number one climb your own corporate ladder chorus they're coming for the crown they're going to tear it down i fully guarantee Ay, repeating history, shut down, oof, they're coming for the crown. Mm. I remember because of the way I spoke, people never associated me ever with, let's say, rock music, which I adore. Me being a Scorpion fan from years ago, which they couldn't fathom in a million years. They probably thought I liked Kylie Minogue. Yes, I have featured it on my channel, um, because it was a summer pop hit and it is Euro pop music I'm doing but I like to incorporate all genres. It's a broad range of rock pop, pop, all of that punk rock pop. So when it comes to repeating history, I repeated it. You get three chances in life. I had three main employments. Two were the two top universities here in Dublin. Prior to that was in Northern Ireland as a manager for Boots Chemists. And none of them satisfied me and I kept going through the motions going through the motions going through the motions I can't stand bosses I can't stand people telling me what to do I can't stand it my whole head goes Woof. I just feel oh, you work with assholes they become assholes they're all about putting a badge putting a name and working their way up and you doing all the dirty work and them sitting at home like they all did all the managers at home in COVID counting their money every week uh, just ring John just ring Eamon just ring Sophie just ring passing the whole because nobody cares it's become an uncaring society within the workplace because it says here supply but no demand ain't never gonna quit look out baby this is it shut down when it comes to the emotional you go on a shutdown don't you everyone does we all suffer it am I on a shutdown at the moment no I'm on the way up that ladder but it's my own ladder I've created guys Rock music takes me there, pop music takes me there, me writing takes me there, cutting myself off from all the dickheads around me that wanted this, wanted that, wanted a piece of me. It was a shutdown and it was a case of look out because in case of here I come, it's a case of here I am. First two, Mr. Guy Posey had a scheme. We've all been on those pyramid schemes and the world is like a head of air, a head of hair. Some are waiting for their share, some are bald, and one's a billionaire. And you see him in the video doing this. It's an enigma wrapped in a riddle, enshrouded in a mystery. Got all the facts, got all the figures, but with all of them, you disagree. You do. When it comes to life, everyone, this to me spells money. So everyone says, how do I make money? How do I live? How do I get by? How can I be a success? And they're not talking about major corporate success like we see in the video. They're talking about personal success. And when you see, for me, the symbolism of themselves in the tuxedo, matching tuxedos, and the glass smashes and he goes back. And remember, he pointed to himself being a billionaire. He's smashing the myth that to be like him in a workplace is what it's all about. 
And don't forget where the office is positioned at the very top. Everybody's symbolic. At, for me, the, the video is symbolic of being at the top. But life is not about that. Ooh, that that builds me up there. It's about, it's like your head of hair. Every, we like to look neat and tidy, or we like to grow it long. If you're free and easy, and you don't have constraints where you can. And why is mine short and everything? Because when you go grey, I embrace the grey, and I embrace my age. I embrace who I am, and I embraced. I had to start again a couple of years back. Gave up a pension. Remember what I told you. And to come to this point in life, I'm not worried about being a billionaire. I'm a worry about getting up in the morning, doing music reactions like this, talking to loads of people I don't know. Let's relate. Um, it's about a relatable day for me now. And it's about, I, I feel like a billionaire. I'm in charge of every aspect of my life now. No one tells me what to do. All of you. I do what I want to do, what makes me happy. And embracing the grey, embracing my age, praising the hives is part of it all. It's like all of this is about got all the facts, got all the figures I have now. Because facts and figures isn't about money or being a billionaire. Facts and figures is the facts of life. Can you, Have you figured it out? What's the next hurdle you have to jump? But instead of worrying about it, plan a goal I planned to write three books I did it plan the music it took two years to get just to this point and as it says five four three two one count down to show shut down shut down is shut down in my case of the past and countdown is to achieving a very successful music channel on YouTube that others will have to compete against me not me at the moment competing against them and the chorus is the coming for the crown. My crown will be putting on my head that says at peace. At peace. Peace of mind, peace of body. And I'm okay. I'm not going to repeat the history. It says I'm into the promised land. I'm in it. Supply but no demand. It's true. I supply all the videos. The demand is slow. I've only got 6,000 subscribers at the moment. But... It says here, ain't never going to quit. I'm not going to quit in life because I'm doing what I want to do. And it says, look out, baby, this is it. Baby to me is the world. Look out, everyone. All the people who laughed at me giving up a pensionable job, you just wait and see. I'm creeping up that little ladder I put in my own head. And I will put on the cr crown. It's just a case as we go in the outro of countdown to shutdown. Countdown to the day I am a success on YouTube and shut down to all the cynics to put knives in my back. I've got a lot of knives. Shut down, shut down, shut down to them as I creep up in subscribers and success and I've never got bad comments on my videos. I know I'm going somewhere. It's just a case of countdown in the mind to heal the body from all the knives in my back to shut down. That's my interpretation. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. I did quite a lot of explaining. Take care for now. Bye-bye.